Hello and welcome back. My name is Amurli and you are watching TechTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install WordPress on Microsoft Windows 10 with XMP. So, go ahead and find out your preferred browser. I'm going to use Edge, Microsoft Edge, and then go to Apache French to install. Or, uh, sorry. Apache French, so to install Bitnami XM, and this will include everything PHP, MySQL, and basically MariaDB and uh, server as well. So it's going to install this Apache, which is a web server, MariaDB, which is MySQL alternative, PHP, what you need for what which you need for any PHP powered applications like WordPress. So this is cross platform. So this is why I'm going to install it so anybody can follow it. So this is for Windows, Linux, and Mac. I'm going to download the Windows version. So this is going to take some time, approximately a minute. In the meanwhile, what I'm going to do, I'm going to download the WordPress. So go to wordpress.org, not .com.org to get the package, my uh, WordPress latest download so it's going to be i think 5.5.1 see that download it and this is going to download the 5.5.1 which is a zip folder now you can close it so these are requirements php mysql apache and the next and we have everything with xm Bitnami XM for Windows 64 bit. Alright, so let them download. Once they are downloaded, we'll go ahead and run one by one, install one by one. So here we go. So you can see XM is installed. I'm going to open it. You can click on it to launch it and install it. Just locate it and click on this double click on it if required now user account control window simply say yes and this will start the installation scanning for viruses so WordPress is also almost done here you can see it's trying to fire up the installation and here is bitnami being launched important Just see yes and say next. This is going to do a lot of things. We do not require Perl. Uh, we do not require mail server, FileZilla, FTP server. We don't require. We do not need. Web analyzer send the fake send email sorry mail now go ahead and say next and this is where it's going to be installed so that's how I'm happy with that now the language is going to be English simply say okay I do not want to learn anything about Vietnam for for XM say next next again so that's all you have to click just a few next 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 and finally it's going to install it in the meanwhile we are going to just unpack it so basically unzip it so just click somewhere and go to the folder where it is you can see this is xm and wordpress so we need to unzip it right click on it and if you do not have any installer you should have uh, any like 7-zip package that extracts anything very fast so you can simply say extract all i'm going to use 7-zip and extract to this folder and you can see it shouldn't take a long time Alrighty, so now i can go ahead and delete this zip folder this is completely useless now so here we go, 
Bitnami is good, you can install anything. So, WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, Moodle, or whatever, what else, Magenta. Now this is the extracted folder. And we are going to need everything within this. All right, so I'm going to keep it aside. Just keep it there. Okay, here we go. So Vietnam will take time. You can go ahead and download and install everything manually, but that's completely wasted of time, like MySQL, PHP, and Apache. You'll have to configure it yourself. And nobody wants to do that because you've got everything with XM with a very user friendly controller as well. So, unpacking files. So, all we have done so far is we are installing XM Bitnami for XM. And downloaded the WordPress from wordpress.org. You can also go to wordpress.org slash download and click here. This is going to download every time the latest version of WordPress. If you're looking for any specific release, you can click on here all releases and download from here. So zip folder, so zip zip package. If you're looking for anything beta or 90 edition of uh, WordPress. You click that beta 90 or simply go to download slash beta hyphen 90 and you can see you'll have to allow this apache to run apache http server so allow access and this is where it's running from and let's see what we have here so apache is up if you go to local host you should get something just local of nothing specific after it and it, it's not yet available perhaps we will have to restart the system if required I don't think we will have to certainly okay so finish do you want to start control panel yeah so we need to start the server MySQL now so you can see everything we have here so simply once it's installed on some systems you will have to restart the operating system if you don't see go to start menu and launch your control panel from here and start Apache and MySQL and this is MySQL so simply say access now so now we have localhost and Apache, uh, sorry, localhost and MySQL. So you can see as soon as it started, it just pulled up this home page dashboard of localhost. You also have this PHU admin to manage your MySQL. So we can go ahead and create a database for our WordPress. We also have php.info file. So go ahead and check what you have. PHP 7.4.10. A lot of things are already enabled and configured. We don't need to mess up around. So that's a very quick installation of WordPress, uh, sorry, PHP, MySQL, and MariaDB. Now we can go ahead and install WordPress on our system. I can go ahead and close these tabs here. And I only need this PHP my admin to create a database. But before that, we need to put this WordPress extracted everything within this XAMP. So I'm going to launch another Explorer thing here. So simply go ahead and right click and you uh, want to open this file explorer one more time and hopefully you can see it so everything is here you simply go to this pc 
in the C drive and locate the XM folder. I have lots of folders here, but you might need those. My, may not have, okay? So simply go ahead and look for this XM and then go for htdocs. And here you have to put this everything from WordPress in a, a particular folder. So let's go ahead and create that particular folder and name it whatever you want. I'm going to say WP, open it by double clicking, copy everything. I'll just select like this and drag over to this folder WP within htdocs. And we have everything now. I can go ahead and close this one. This one too. And if I go to localhost slash WP or whatever folder name you have given, that's completely up to you. So you should pull up the installation script and we'll ask for this uh, database name, database username, and a password. So you'll have to select the language. You can choose your particular language and hit continue. Now this is asking for database name, username, password, host name, table prefix, five things. So we'll go ahead and create database, go to localhost slash php my admin. Very simple. Localhost slash php my admin. Hit new, type in the database. I'm going to say WP. Five, perfectly fine. Citation, create. Remember your database has been created. The database name is WP5. The username by default is root and there is no password. And it's available on localhost. So say let's go. Database again is WP5 that you created. That's totally up to you what you want to name it. So now root is the default username. There is no password. It's localhost is the database host. WP is prefix. You can change it like whatever. And then underscore. I'm going to keep it as it is and then hit submit and you are done. Run the installation. And here we are. We need to create our... So, WP demo. Admin is the username. Admin is the password. Just confirm the weak password. Admin.com. Discover search engine. And hit install WordPress. Remember, if you're installing WordPress on your server, you should choose a very unique admin name and a unique password as well. Alrighty, so hit install WordPress and you are in the WordPress now. Just log in, type in your username and password, hit log in, and you are in the WordPress. Now, this is dashboard area, you can go to the front end and you'll see this is WordPress on your system and everything is working fine. So that's the good part of XM. So you don't have to configure anything. Okay, so everything is working. And when you click on WP WordPress, you can see it creates 12 tables. So whenever you install WordPress for the first time, it has only 12 tables, so it's very lightweight. And that's all for this video. If you have any questions, suggestions, leave in the comment below, and I will try to answer it ASAP. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye for now.